Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. I think this Susan is getting. It's like the perfect amount of 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 tension for turning a vehicle, but when you want to do the opening video smack, it tends to slide the whole thing around the bench. What was I saying? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to another quick view install. Because what do we love? We love quick views. We want to learn about stuff so that someone else can be the guinea pig on that guy. So, once again, another quick view installment brought to you us by the by the kindness of the Canyon Faithful Shaker MT, what I would consider to be a unofficial platinum tier Patreon. He sends many things to the Canyon. And I feel like this has come up in the request before. Someone has asked to see the RC four wheel drive Mickey Thompson Baja Claw TTC in the X2 SS compound. We are gonna hook those up and ordinarily you'd be seeing our good friend, our good buddy Baseline, but you won't be because we already, we've got a guy. We've got a guy that needs tires and I desperately hope for these to be the tires because these are not great. We, we still haven't found the thing that they work on and they don't really super well work on here. So the Tranquish has been getting a lot of go through right now. He's been getting a lot of stuff done to him. He's got a new servo. He's got a new motor. He's got a whole bunch of stuff. And his, uh, his appearance on State of the Canyon won't be coming up for like five weeks, six weeks maybe. So we need to get him as done as we can. Stapled and sealed? No, just stapled. I love that. That X2 compound is definitely sticky. And my only worry is the... Wor oh, it, it, it's not... It's not a little sticky. You can do the... Uh... Yeah, that's... That's real sticky. So I am hopeful... My only worry is this. The foams that are like, look at. The foams that are routinely included with RC four wheel drive tires are, this feels very similar to the level of density of like a foam that comes in a Canyon Trail. And I've long said that the Canyon Trail foams are basher foams. Boy, they are really, oh, I want these to work so bad. The, the, I think they'll look perfect. I think I'm seeing amount of side lug that I will be happy with. And we have a contingency plan in place. We also, through wheel jockeying, look, look how sticky that is. Um, it's got some X ribbing on the inside. Look at the. Like, they are crazy soft. We will see how that impacts mounting because, like, they're so soft that the inner bead doesn't even want to maintain shape. I'm probably going to have to get the bubble juice out. The, 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 it is definitely a soft rubber thing because the sidewall and the main tread are actually pretty thick. Sidewall feels like it's in that two and a half, three millimeter range thickness. That's, that's good. We're not going to tear them. We've got his wheels recently dismounted as I was doing some wheel and tire jockeying. So they will be mounted up on these standard with, you know, your regular Amazon specials. And, oh yes, the contingency. So they will all be pulled apart. Uh, I will get the foams out. We're going to vent them. I'm grabbing the tool. Four millimeters, two holes, 12 o'clock, six o'clock. I will then mount them up with the included foams. I will probably hit them with the heat gun a little to uh, get them back to round. And then if that proves to be too firm, I have the memory foams from some grabbers. And mm, yeah, that should be that should be real good. If the memory foams from the, like, if this feels good and because they're so soft, it might work. I've learned that bench feel is not a great tell as to whether or not something is going to work. If that does not prove 
to be the ticket. So if this doesn't work, we'll go to that. If that doesn't work, we've got we got this and we've got the it'll go double buttons. So I have no idea. You saw me just take them out of the package. I have no idea what it's going to take to get them to function the way I want them to function. So we will we will go progressively. But first, what happens is we pull them all apart. We vent them. I will mount them, and then I will let you know on on the difficulty scale. That that's that's a thing that happens sometimes. So I mean, like I say, the foam is very firm. Not 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 that's not that's not great, but we deal. There's a lot of static in there. All right, I'm gonna get them vented. I'm gonna get them mounted. I'm gonna let you know how that goes, and uh, then we'll uh, we'll move on. tire that is really really sticky and this compound might be as sticky as any compound I have encountered up till now taking that into account these actually mount pretty easily I think bubble juice is pretty much required I got a little too much in there why bubble juice you ask this comes from my days of seating tubeless tires on bicycles I came to find that bubble juice, super miracle bubbles, uh, is the way to go. Why? Well, a bottle is 99 cents for a quart, which will last you an eternity. You get a cheap paintbrush to apply it. And I choose bubble juice because it doesn't dry soapy. Like, as it dries, it gets tacky and and that is what we want the the uh the i should always just show mounting the first one because that one's easy the third and fourth tires you have to mount specifically because i need two lefts and two rights and i generally want to have the, the there'll be a lip that is like more folded over and i will generally use that for the front of the tire because it's more difficult to get the back beadlock ring in as it's shorter and it has that little like rounded shoulder on it. So if you've got like, if you've got a floppy bead, it, it doesn't want to grab as well. But tire number four, we don't have a choice. It has to go the way that it goes. But as you can see, it's not particularly difficult and my hands are already, that's bubble juice. It dries tacky. And when you get it all over your bench, it doesn't matter. Just just dries up and it's gone. I don't know. Uh, it would it could be done, but you would just be uh, it's self-flagellation to try to mount these without some sort of fluid to do it. And I know such a thing exists. I'm pretty sure it exists for RC cars. I know it exists for bikes, but I know a a, a tire mounting fluid is a thing that you can buy but you can just get super miracle bubbles for 99 cents at the Walmart. I'm probably down to about there and I've probably mounted 50 tubeless tires with that. Ooh. And every sticky, super sticky compound, like you, you generally don't need it for something like a Canyon trail. That's never going to be required. The tire is just too, the rubber is too firm, but the rubber on these is. So, you know what, after, after a hit with the heat gun, these actually, I, I don't know. Like I say, we try to ignore bench feel because bench feel is a liar. A tire can feel real good. A shock can cycle really nice, smooth and consistent. And then you get it out on the rocks and it is, as they would say, woeful. So let us, let us find out if these are going to be woeful because on the bench, I gotta say, I don't, I don't want to think too much into it. I, I could also do single bun. These have just single hair buns in them, not double buns. So we have four options, but honestly, the included foam feels all right. I realize 
the framing on this, the framing on this could be better. So it's not a quick view unless we RTR it. This is how they came out of the package. Oh, they do look good, do they not? This is one of those things where I feel just by how sticky these are, I feel like they're gonna work somewhere on somebody. The Tranquish is is a beefy boy. He's he is not he is not a light boy. Uh, you know, basically a phoenix with TRX4 axles. So, and that would be lockers. So he has six servos. Five ser He's got five servos. He's using all six channels. Uh, let's go this way. Let us get this guy out there. So the Tranquish has been getting a lot of love. I think I mentioned. He's got a new power plant, new pinion, new servo, new receiver box. And now hopefully, hopefully, new tires. Let's, uh, ooh, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. Let's, uh, they really do look good on there. Let's see how they look out there. That's the important one. Welcome back onto the course with what is uh, rapidly becoming one of the noisiest rigs here. That 99 mod servo is, it's a loud thing. Oh, well, that looked, that looked real promising That Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's real nice. To, I did not de-dust. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, so far it's pretty good. Very uniform layer of dust picking up on those tires. Let's see what we got here. Oh, just, just presses the rear end down. You just get the shoot. Okay. Up here. Yeah, there's a lot of forward drive in this tire. Yeah, that is, again, see, bench feel must be discounted. And now he's on the Fusion SE in there, running through here, look at that. Oh, it's, it's real nice, it's real nice. I'm, I'm excited, I'm, I'm happy and excited, folks. We are gonna have to get some side hill in. We're gonna have to get all kinds, I, I, I gotta hit some different surfaces. Oh, they feel, they feel really good though. Pretty good on the dig. It's kind of hard to tell there. Oh yeah, they, yeah, yeah. So far, so far so good. Now, as I'm sure I'm, I've said, the, the Tranquish is not a super light boy. VFD twin, five servos, uh, big chunky portal weights in the front. He He's not a flyweight. So, oh, that was absolutely fantastic. I think I'm too far in. Trying to reposition without without reversing. No, I got I got over too far. I got I, I was over farther than I thought I would be. I'm using all the buttons here. I think that inside tire I think is going to pull it back. Oh yeah, that's, 
That's real nice. I did not have a remarkably good entry there. Yeah, listen to the sound of this guy. <laughs> he is not a quiet fella. Yeah, that pullover on that rock right there is, that is chef's kiss. Yeah, keeps funneling it a little wide, but then just the right amount of traction to just push it back the other way. Yeah, he can, oh, that that is right in my eye holes. I hope the video is picking that up as well as my eye holes are. It's like I'm looking into the sun. It's like his bed is welding. Yeah, these, these, these feel really good. I'm, I'm most blown away by the, the foam. I guess the foam just happens to complement this guy's weight and layout. Oh, the chainsaw man. That's okay. Tranquish is loud. He can compete. Oh, they're so good. Tree cutting, tree cutting. Try some of the newest stuff here at Oblivion. Just working on this the past couple of days. Oh, now really? The helicopter straight over the house too. Helicopter over the house and man with a chainsaw. Just gonna put my face in here and just talk about how, like, like why, you know? I mean, I do know why. I think I've mentioned it in a video before. If I haven't, that's whatever they call that thing, the police helicopter, they call it like one Baker or Baker three, something. Anyway, whatever it's called. They fly directly over the house because apparently there's a place that they land up by a ranger station heading up Highway 38 and they head up there to stop and have lunch. And uh, apparently the line from the the Hilla, the Hilla Depot, whatever they call that thing, and where they stop down lunch is directly, my house is directly under that. So at least once a day. And uh, whatever he's trimming now is right next to us. Oh, that's brilliant. I don't know if you can even hear me, but that's so good. That's so good. We're going to head over to Deadline, which is as far away from the chainsaw as I can get. Due to the logarithmic nature of sound attenuation, I don't know how much quieter it will actually be over here, but we are as far away as we can get. Yeah, that sidewall behavior is really nice. Yeah, this is that thing again of a really super soft tire needs to be paired with a more firm foam. You can see, look at that tire that's out on that point. That's like the perfect amount of fold because we're still getting a lot of tread uh, contact with the ground. This might be the, this might be the loudest, oh, that, that's Kevin. This might be the loudest day, listen to that, in the history of my life. Trees are falling, helicopters are going over, Kevin is here. I'm waiting for Kevin to take off from the stop sign. So we get the chainsaw, here he goes. Kevin, Kevin not gear, giving it nearly as much beans as he ordinarily would. I'm gonna cross this bridge. Ah, oh. I can I can feel the stickiness. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you view these types of things, this quick review is growing shorter by the minute because oh look at it. because this foam and tire, it's one, of, it's one of those things. It showed up in a box from RPP Hobby. I got the email from Shaker MT. It was like, those tires are for you. There's more stuff in there that's gonna be coming up later. Uh, some, some exciting developments coming out of that box. And I thought to myself, the Tranquish needs tires more perhaps than anyone else after that whole tire switcheroo that went on. What was that? A couple days ago, a week ago? 
And the, the Tranquish really got the rawest of deals when it came to tires. He, he lost his tires and was saddled with the only set that was left over, which were the Rock Beasts, which these are like the categorical opposite of the Rock Beasts, at least in the behavior here in the canyon. I am trying. Oh, is it a perfect dig? It is. I'm trying the outside line here. We will see whether or not that is wise. You've got to, you've got to try to over the precipice here. I'm trying to side lug it. Oh, I don't know. I think I got it. I think I got it too far over. Oh. Oh, he's still on. He's still on. Look at that rear tire working. Oh, it was so good. These these are an outstandingly maneuverable tire. Now, take this into consideration. I consider foam and tire, not just foam, but tire as well, to be intensely rig specific. If this were not the case, we would all just be buying one tire and fitting it to everything, but that's that's not what works. So if you're wheeling something lighter than this, I, I can't say. They are, uh, dare I go so far into my uh, normal levels of hyperbole to say, these are outstanding. Look at that, look at that smear on that tire. They are taking advantage of every microscopic bit of low speed control that this guy has. This is an immensely, look at that, that fold. That, that low tire absolutely folding out just perfectly, all the weight being transferred over to that front corner and it's just the right amount. This is, this is a, this is a unique occurrence here for sure. In terms of the foam that comes in the package matching to the tire, most often whatever company, J Concepts, Dirt Tracks, whoever, the foam that comes in there is like, like J Concepts calls theirs a medium. And in general, they work pretty good because if your, if your rig is in that I'm waiting to see if he's gonna catch. If your rig is in that medium area, if you're in that like six, high fives, mid sixes, maybe up to about seven pounds, the foams are gonna work just fine. You, are there better options out there? Sure, but they'll work great. No, okay, they'll work good. I don't know if they'll work great. These work great. He is way angled out right now. And I'm just sitting here chatting away Look at that front tire folding over, but just enough. It's, it's, he's hanging in there big time. A little slip down, let me counter it back up. I got, there we are, there we are. I was gonna say, I got no weight on passenger front. It's really squidging out on that rim in the front, but that side lug is just doing the work. Okay, this is really gonna put him off, even more off camber now. We're gonna try to follow him as he moves along here. Okay, that high side tire is gonna go real light. How about that side lug in the rear driving? Oh yeah. These tires, they love this terrain. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get him through the tree. I'm I'm starting to get a little too uh, spicy because he's been so incredibly responsive. Let's just try to get through the uh, shoot the gap here. It gets really light here. This is a spot where it tends to throw you off. As I've said, this is the this is the future challenge portion. This is another of the Canyon Challenge series. If anyone ever wants to come and uh, participate in the Canyon Challenge series, can you cross the deadline 
all the way. I, I might have to go with Deadline. There's a there's a fantastic. No one. Okay, I made a <laughs> I made a Professor Brothers reference recently, a Brad Neely reference, and I said six people will get this. I'm going to make a Guano Apes reference uh, about crossing. They have a song called Crossing the Deadline, and uh, this would be Crossing the Deadline. Maybe six people will get that reference. Yeah, for this application, I can't speak to how they do something on that's something that's really flyweight. How high am I going to get? It? Oh, that's that's bad position. Uh, they love it here. These oh, look at that front. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, no, 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 no. can we can we hold that on? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, he's on the polyethylene. Oh, that's it. <laughs> what a valiant effort. Let's see, let's see if we've got the burp to. Oh, no problem. Right, right up it. So much like the Slot Canyon Challenge, which is the challenge I've issued that if anyone can make it through the current five slots, and no one has tried it yet, so I'm gonna keep building slots and slots six and seven will be in place. And it's gonna be capped at seven for the slot machine challenge, which is can you cross all seven slots without repositioning the vehicle? And uh, I don't, I don't know if anyone can. So it's a similar challenge for deadline, which is basically like a tightrope walk. You get, you, you have to stay on the pipes. So he already would have failed more than once it's can you do it without falling off you can use as much reverse as you want these these events encourage reversing let's just let's just watch him slowly transfer weight until he rolls off <laughs> because i honestly i don't think some of these like this this obstacle this obstacle line, I don't think this obstacle line is passable without using reverse, period. Maybe if winching was taken into account, like if you want to go to an extremely advanced degree of difficulty, if you're if you're that type of guy, then we'll allow it. But no hands, and if you fall off, you fell off. Oh, I just I just put this this rock right here that's on his passenger front, that's brand new. Try to dig it. There we go. Yeah, I get the feeling that you're gonna need some tools to get through here. I don't know if dig is an absolute requirement, but it may well be. These tires, let me get back to what we're supposed to be talking about. These tires suit this rig so perfectly. And Oh no, I didn't do the right thing. Like that, okay, just that right there. This right here, that's just polyethylene straight up. Little, got a little too far over this thing. Come on, this is a bad entry. Get up there, get up there. That is a, that is a properly grippy tire. Oh, this, I, this is a, excessively deceptive section. It looks like, it looks like this shouldn't take any effort at all. But now I'm looking at that place right below the stump and I just got it too high on one side right here. Real slow, real slow. Yeah, I mean, this is a positive review. You, if you want to be able to tell how this is a positive review of the RC four-wheel drive, Mickey Thompson, Baja Claw TTC, I'll tell you how. I haven't been talking about the tires very much. At least I feel like I haven't. They're that good. Now, again, conditional. If your rig is around this weight, you will take them out of the package, you will put them on, and you will be like, Oh yeah. If your rig weighs five pounds or nine pounds, I think there's, uh, you're gonna get to go deep into the, the tuning hole. 
Wow, I really filled one of those wheels with mud. I really filled two of those wheels with mud. But they are, they are everything I could have hoped for, honestly. I am, I am, I am quite impressed by the latest offerings from RC Four Wheel Drive, and none more so than these. The compound is great, and perhaps more impressive. There are RC Four Wheel Drive foams inside those RC Four Wheel Drive tires, which is not something I can say for any other RC Four Wheel Drive tire that's here in the fleet. Uh, usually, the foams are are pretty overly tough. They just happen to be perfect for a ring that's right around seven pounds. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna try to clear this bowl. Let's see how we can do it here. Bumper gonna go in? Yeah. There we go. That's a little reposition. Get that bumper. Tiny little bumper, get it clear. There we go. I have no complaints, none. That compound, that compound is nice. These tires are nice. So before this turns into 50 minutes of me wheeling the Tranquish, I'm still, I'm just so blown away by the, by the tire foam cooperation that's going on right here. Might be the best dig I've ever done, right there. You got to you get to be here for it. Look at the tight, like it's the perfect amount of squish in the sidewall. It's perfect. These are these are really great. And as these are the Mickey Thompson Baja Claw, I have to imagine that they are based on a one-one Mickey Thompson Baja Claw. I don't, I don't do this kind of research. I have to imagine that though. And if that is the case, I would go on record and say that this is the best performing, I'm making air quotes behind the camera, scale tire, which is tire based on a real world tire. These are, these are really good. If you've got a rig in there around that mid sixes up to around seven pounds out of the package, you are gold. You will probably want to go to a different foam if you're something lighter, and I can't speak as to what that interaction is going to be because these tires are so soft. That foam feels very, very firm, but it feels amazing in these. Like As, as I think has been exhibited, the amount of forward drive and just overall traction is, is superb, and I have been paying attention. If you'll note, look at the chevrons on the tire. There's nothing stuck to them. The tires have been all grayed out from basically driving on what is pretty fresh mortar mix, but there's no sand or anything sticking to them like what happens with Vanquish with the red compound that they've got. So I, I, I prefer this compound. This is a, this is a, this is a nice tire compound. And I'm, I'm, I'm again, for the, for the final time, we will talk about how good I think these foams are. They're so matched to the tire. No, oh, and I'm kind of cheating here because I'm finding out where the uh, where the toughest spots to navigate through are going to be. Yeah, if you get in that bowl, you're done. And you know what else is done? We are. That's going to end this quick view. Mickey Thompson Baja Claw TTC by your good friends at RC Four Wheel Drive. They're really good. I have nothing in the way of complaints. Uh, definitely use bubble juice or a similar solution when you go to mount them. Uh, you, you could expect this level of performance from something in that like six pounds plus, I would say. If you're lighter than that, I, I don't know. I think the foam might be a little too firm. Thank you for watching everybody. Please do comment below, any questions, comments, concerns. Like if you like to subscribe if you haven't. We do offer channel memberships and uh, we do love testing tires. Man, do we love testing tires. We really do, especially on those more rare than not occasions when a tire really, really sings. Because we've had a couple sets somewhat recently that have been, you know, eh, it's okay, this is okay. 
this set is up there with the KLR trail specs with the halo air downs and it just I was like wow these tires fall into the category of wow and without without any competition the best RC four-wheel drive tire I've tested certainly the best RC four-wheel drive foam I've used thanks again everybody I'm gonna uh I'm gonna slow wheel some more and then I'm gonna uh I'm gonna go do something else I don't know I haven't figured it out yet so in between now and when we meet again Please, one and all, do your very best. Have a good one, everybody. We will, we will, we will see you next time. I don't. I feel like with bells on, with bells on. <laughs>